Romano weighs in on United's manager speculation amid reports of Ten Hag's sacking. Fabrizio Romano has shared his understanding of the latest speculation regarding a managerial change at Manchester United. The Red Devils were dealt a final hammer blow on Tuesday night after their humiliating Champions League campaign came to an end at the group stage, Bayern Munich put them out of their misery with a 1-0 victory at Old Trafford, cementing United's place at rock bottom of Group A and ruling them out of Europa League football in the process. Given United's tumultuous start to the Premier League term, they certainly aren't shaping up as one of the favourites in the top four race. Already, they've sustained seven losses, more than any team in the top nine of the table, and currently hold a negative goal difference of minus three. They're now six points away from rivals Manchester City in fourth and face a season-defining run of fixtures over the festive period, starting with Sunday's trip to Anfield to face league leaders Liverpool, and we all know how they fared on Merseyside last term. Such a start in the aforementioned competitions, along with an early Carabao Cup exit, has led to Eric Ten Hag's position in the dugout being placed under increasing pressure. Reports have tipped former Real Madrid and Wolverhampton Wanderers boss Julian Lopetegui as a potential replacement, but Romano isn't all that convinced by the rumors. Speaking in his exclusive daily briefing with Cut Offside, he explained, I wanted to start today by addressing some of the rumors about Eric Ten Hag and a possible replacement being lined up by Manchester United with some credible sources suggesting Julian Lopetegui is gaining strength as a candidate to take over at Old Trafford. I don't want to deny or talk down any colleagues and the information they're getting, but all I can say is that I'm not aware of any contact between Man United and Lopetegui at this stage. There's not a lot more I can say other than what I've previously reported, which is that United continue to back Ten Hag, even if there is an awareness that things have to improve. Sir Jim Ratcliffe has serious concerns over Eric Ten Hag's position at Manchester United. Eric Ten Hag's position is under major threat with Sir Jim Ratcliffe said to have serious concerns about the Dutchman's performance in his second season at Old Trafford. After a third-placed finish in the Premier League last season, as well as victory in the Carabao Cup and reaching the FA Cup final, Ten Hag was expected to kick on this term. But United have regressed and they've already lost 12 of their 21 matches this term, as well as exiting the Champions League. Ratcliffe's 25% stake in the club is expected to be ratified in the next two months, but he and his INEO staff are already working behind the scenes at Old Trafford. The 71-year-old will be given control of football operations at the club and though they are not in a position to sack Ten Hag at this moment in time, the Telegraph say Ratcliffe has serious concerns about the Dutchman's position. With Liverpool to come on Sunday, things could get even worse for Ten Hag before Ratcliffe's arrival. The British billionaire would ideally like to keep Ten Hag in place until the end of the season before reviewing his position but missing out on the top four could prove too damaging a prospect for Ratcliffe. The existing Araki at United have sympathy with Ten Hag given United's injury problems, and feel he has enough credit in the bank after last season. Manchester United keen to offload aging duo to Saudi Arabia but face potential obstacle. Manchester United are keen to listen to offers for experienced duo Casemiro and Rafael Verani though may not receive any interest from the Saudi Pro League, according to reports. The Red Devils are expected to have a quiet January window but they are prepared to make some tweaks to their squad if they can offload players. Finding a new club for Jadon Sancho, either permanently or on loan, is the main priority, while Donny van de Beek has received interest from Bundesliga club Eintracht Frankfurt. United are also open to cashing in on Case Miro and Verani, with both players having fallen down the pecking order this season. The French centre-back has seen Johnny Evans and Luke Shaw preferred to him in recent weeks, while the Brazilian midfielder has not played since October after picking up an injury. According to the Times, 
Both players are still viewed as important members of the squad but United do not see them as irreplaceable and would be willing to sell the pair. Both players have been linked with moves to Saudi Arabia in the past, but there are now doubts over whether the country's four biggest clubs, which are all funded by the Saudi Public Investment Fund, are willing to make offers. The problem is that all four teams have already maxed out their eight-player limit on foreign players, with al had actually exceeding it meaning ex-Celtic star Hoda has not been registered for domestic matches. The other three clubs, Al Nasser, Al Hilal and Al Ali, invested big in superstars like Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar and Karim Benzema and would need to offload a marquee name in order to make room in their squad. At this stage, it appears unlikely that any of the Saudi clubs would be prepared to do that at the midpoint of the season, particularly as it will be incredibly difficult to find buyers for their unwanted players. Both Verani and Casemiro are thought to be open to leaving United and moving to Saudi Arabia for one last big payday, with many of their ex-Real Madrid and international teammates already playing there, though will not push for a move. Casemiro is currently dealing with a hamstring problem and is not expected to return until the start of the new year, while Verani has had a number of niggles, including a sore back, that has restricted his game time. Although United are dealing with an injury crisis, their elimination from Europe could see manager Eric Ten Hag take a risk and trim his squad even if it means waiting until the summer to bring in replacements.